I watched more of it. Mm -hmm. um, he says some things. Uh, he explains from his perspective, he wants people to know that when you're on stage, the lights, a lot of things are going on. You're not necessarily seeing what people think perhaps he saw. He says he didn't find out about this until moments before a press conference was held that people actually died here. Mm -hmm. um, so there was that. Charlemagne, um, it, this looked like a set friendly interview quite mm -hmm. clearly, but Charlemagne the God is, um, you know, the name fits. He's an expert interviewer, and he did get Travis Scott to open up, Shannon, um, in some ways, including about that picture of him on the golf course not many days after the tragedy. Mm -hmm. So many killed, mostly young people, where he was on the golf course chilling with uh, Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. He said, you know, it was Thanksgiving, and I was just, you know, trying to cope. And he says he's still coping with his emotions. I do have some thoughts, though, on what we saw. I know we only played mm -hmm. a small portion of it, but what did you see? Yeah, you know, what I saw is that, you know, he was remorseful. I think that he wanted to make sure people understood his perspective. And like you said, when you were on stage, you have the noise, the lights, everything going on. You're performing. And he did, which he made clear, stop the show a few times where he saw someone pass out and said, hey, let's make sure they get them to safety. But at the point of that tragedy, when the people started to die, he did not know what was going on. He did not hear them and he could not see them. So I think that's clear, uh, something that he, it was important to clear up because a lot of people thought, oh, he didn't care. He just kept performing. But, you know, there are clips online and on social where you do see him stop the show and you see mm -hmm. him say, let's get them help, let's get them to safety or whatever. And then yeah. the, the people came and they got the people out of there safely. So I feel just in that response that he had to the other people passing out, that if he could have stopped the show or if he knew something that tragic was going on, of course he would stop it. And who wouldn't stop it at that point when they, if they knew something that detrimental was happening? Well, I agree with you, except there's this, and I want the best for Travis Scott, and I believe mm -hmm. he's devastated, he's sorry, and we don't need to even, <clears throat> for many reasons, of course, especially the loss of life, he's not a monster. I don't believe he's a monster. But he should have known. And the reason he didn't know is perhaps because of doing things on the cheap. Mm. He and the concert company, right? Mm -hmm. Where you had security guards who weren't really security guards who were trained at the last minute and didn't have enough of them and didn't have exit routes and wanted to cram people in as much and as many as he could at $300 a pop. So I feel bad for him. Ten people dead. Mm -hmm. Because I feel worse for their families. Remember yeah. that sweet face boy? Oh, I'll get yes, his name. He's nine years old. <laughs> and it's heartbreaking. Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to say this. When we watched it, and again, this went on an hour, so it may be unfair in the clip we showed you, but I'd mm -hmm. fire his media coach immediately. Mm. Yeah. And you, we both, we don't have to argue. You know he has one mm -hmm. who set this up, uh, a PR firm. I'd fire them immediately because when 10 people young people who have their whole lives ahead of you and their only crime was being fans of yours show up and are put in that pig pen that's been described and they can't get out in there. Can you imagine being tra mm. don't, trampled to death? Mm. I want you to make eye contact with me. I'm often told I, I look off. I'm thinking it's a bad habit. I'll correct it eventually. Yeah. Ten people are dead. You need to make eye contact. I don't want to see you fidgeting in your chair mm -hmm. or sitting like this chilling like you know, you're slouching like, like he cares uh, yeah. he doesn't care you know and th that may just be travis right he's a cool guy he's on top of the world he, oh. kylie jenner's his baby mama but mm -hmm. i'd fire them immediately because if you want to convey emotion to me mm -hmm. after all of these kids are dead your name's on the marquee mm -hmm. stops with you that's not how you're going to talk to me okay mm -hmm. Nine-year-old Ezra, the youngest killed, mm. sweet face boy, first concert with his daddy. Yeah. You're going to make eye contact, okay? And that's got to be drilled home. Yeah, sit up and show some respect. And like you said, you know, show that you have a backbone that. and that you actually care. And if you said, look into the camera, talk to the people, or talk to, you know, Charlemagne, who's there, and make people believe you. Don't just say the words that were written on a cue card. Say, that, you know, show that emotion. Yeah. I think that's what people were looking for. And that's why I think you're saying, you know, that they need to fire them because they put him in that yes. situation unprepared, un 
uh, ready to face the world that will be scrutinizing him over this. And it was already scrutinized him and have all these la lawsuits against him. You know, it, this is is damaging to his career is damaging to his image and forget upholding the image that you were trying to portray as this rapper uphold the image as a human who cares about other human lives who were unfortunately yep. perished in this so we're going to see where it, it ends up for him but i think he definitely needs to have that opportunity to put his best foot forward this wasn't it again he said yeah. some things clear and which was good for him that he was, you know, trying to clear up to his intentions or what he saw. But still, we, we need to hear it yeah. in your voice. Yeah, and I'm going to say this. It's not easy to represent a celebrity, right? Because mm -hmm. he may face criminal charges here. I don't know. Yeah. And when you're dealing with a criminal, civil, a court matter, um, and it's a celebrity, you've got two missions, right? Keep him out of jail or, or keep him from, you know, be going bankrupt. But also the the PR, it has mm -hmm. to go hand in hand. They don't want to just stay out of jail and then be left with nothing, right? That's not where they're at. They want to maintain their stardom, mm -hmm. their fame, their fortune. So it's difficult. But yeah, but right now you've got to focus his on. Team, <laughs> right, right now, forget his that. His team should be fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because even in the, the, the moments after, right? Mm -hmm. Your team should be fired because you didn't know people were dead mm -hmm. and you didn't know anything that was going on. You went to Dave and Buster's mm -hmm. after the concert. Yeah. You went on the golf course. He doesn't, he doesn't just travel alone. He's Travis Scott. Somebody mm -hmm. knew he was going there with Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods. And he says a fan snapped the picture. Mm -hmm. Why were you even out? <laughs> you should be in mourning. Ezra's parents yeah. are. You should be in mourning if that's authentic. And sometimes mm -hmm. these things that have to work in tandem, you just gotta, you just gotta be authentic. Yeah. You have to be authentic, okay? If you're really sorry, that's not how you behave. It's not. Yeah, and I'm sure it's only gonna be moments until we start to hear back from you know the world, you know, public opinion about if his not already. behavior. Yep. Yeah, exactly. People, I'm sure, are tweeting out already about his behavior, and it'll be interesting to see what they have to say and, and what some of the victims' families have to say about this. I don't think this is gonna necessarily help his lawsuit at all. I know he wants to get out of some of those lawsuits and say he's not responsible. Even, you know, Charlemagne asked him, "Do you think 50,000 people?" is too many people to be at one of your concerts and he basically said that there are other concerts that are larger. Yes. However, as you mentioned earlier, it's about how it's set up. Not enough exit routes. They should have quarantined yep. off those sections so they have emergency pathways, mm -hmm. more of them, so people can get out or can get to safety if something like that happens. And it just, we had a, you know, a crowd specialist on the, the show after it happened who talked about that needing to have emergency exits, needing to have signs that say exit or to, for people can leave. So if they do feel uncomfortable, they can get out for any situation, especially with all the issues we've seen at concerts in recent years where people have been shot or hurt and different things. There was no reason for this to happen if it was set up correctly. You can die from a bee sting. Mm. And in that context, they wouldn't have gotten out, mm -hmm. okay? So when Travis Scott, again, it's about authenticity. Mm -hmm. Is it real? $7,500 through your lawyer you offered to pay for funeral costs. So many of the victims said, get out of my face. Mm. I don't want your money, not this way. But this notion that people are trying to shake down this celebrity, this is real. Fire your team, Travis.